I'm on? Yes. Hi girls. I'm back. Today is going to be a quite a special unboxing. As you can tell, I don't have a black box next to me. I have an orange box and I know you girls, you like the black boxes, but you like the orange boxes even more. It's going to be different. It's not Chanel. And as you know, because of the orange box, it's at Hermes. And what is in here, which is going to blow your mind. This is a difficult piece to find. So difficult that, um, to be really honest, I had to fight somebody for it. And I saw it online and I was blown away by the color and the hardware and the hardware is hard to come by as well. And I went online, I went to the store and I said to my um, personal shopper and I said, you know, um, is that available? And is it reserved for me? And he said, no, it's not reserved for you. It's re reserved for another client. And that just, got me so upset and I had to tell him, I says, well, how do I get my hands on it? And he said, the thing is with this piece, it was reserved for someone else and we have to allow the person to actually come in and have a look at it. And if she decides not to have it, then you can. And that was three days that I had to wait. And that three days was the longest days of my life. And I'm wondering, you know, every day I'm messaging him and says, you know, is she giving up the back yet? Um, did she come in to see it? And he said, no, ma'am, you know, you got to give three days. You just got to tough it out a little bit. So I did, I tough it out and I waited and I waited and I waited. So three days later he came to me, uh, well, he messaged me. I had to wait for a while, but I was willing to wait because she was very unique. She's very rare. The color is very hard to come by. Oh my gosh. So hard to come by and the hardware even harder. Um, I have to say this is not from the store. Um, I don't have a profile at Hermes store. And even if you have a profile there, it is very difficult to buy her because you, a lot of girls are not even offered and you end up spending tens of thousands of dollars in a store just so that you can climb up the list to be offered an Hermes bag. And this is a beautiful one. <laughs> Can't wait to show you. So I did pay a premium for her. After market rates are very, very expensive. Some of them are double the price. And this is not even, you know, um, exception to that. Um, the price is so high. However, the story is, Whoever listed her lives in Saudi Arabia and uh, she listed her with a pre-love store in Dubai and um, brand new in beautiful, brand new conditions and at a premium price and all the girls were fighting for it. I was lucky to be on the website and I saw her and I was second in line. So here we go. Without further ado, I'm going to unbox her so you can see how beautiful she is. And not only that, she is a keeper. She's definitely a keeper, both in a collection and also, you know, you wear them, you know, you have to enjoy it. So I'm going to unbox her now. Gorgeous, just totally gorgeous. Oh, there we go. This is the tag from the pre-love store because it is listed there, but in brand new condition. So it comes in the box, the dust bag, the little dust bag with a lock in here, all there. The raincoat and the pillow that it sits in. So this is intact. Now, of course, it's not brand brand new from the retail store, but it is brand new. I'm gonna open her right now. I love the color. I wasn't sure, but I love the color. Are you ready? She is so gorgeous. 
There we go. It is the Birkin 25 in the Etain color and rose gold hardware. And it's very, very, very rare. Um, first of all, the leather itself, Etain color is very, very difficult to come by. I have tried so many places and um, couldn't find her. And, and even if you have a list or a profile in a Hermes store, you know, you don't know whether they have this available for you. So my thing is, do I want to spend that kind of money in a store to climb up the list? Maybe, maybe not get offered a bag or do I go to a pre-love store and they could have a brand new one available. And there we go. There it is. Look at how gorgeous she is. Look at that. The protector sticker is still intact. The protective sticker here is still intact. And the beautiful part is that she didn't take it out and I don't want to, you know, remove it now because I just picked her up from the store. The felt's intact, so I'm going to show you what, how beautiful she is. The felt, ooh. I'm trying to keep everything intact. Oh my goodness, it's falling off. So even the, um, the protective sticker on here, on the plate, on the rose gold hardware is still there. It's not been uh, removed. And um, this is a size 25. At first I wasn't quite sure because I thought, oh my God, it is going to be so small. But it's not, it's, it's actually really perfect for me. And I have a couple of other sizes that I'm gonna do a comparison so you can see the difference between the 25, 30, and the 35. I'm gonna put it there nicely. And I have, isn't, isn't she gorgeous? She is like so beautiful. Let me just do that so I can put all the stuff in here. And it is tucked in nicely. Air pillows. Have another one here. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, in here it's an empty, an empty big, big space with a pocket and a zipper pocket here. That's what the Birkin looks like. And you can wear it this way, which is really, it fits a lot. This is my phone and I carry a couple of, you know, wallets and it goes in there really nicely with my glasses. So it's actually not a small bag at all. It's actually a really, really good bag, a very good size. And you can hang it, your wit, you know, your wrist like so. And um, let me just not, ah, such a precious bag. So the keys. And the lock is here. She didn't even put it in for me, so it's so brand new. And this is the rose gold hardware. I have to show you the gold hardware that I have, so you can tell the see the comparison in the, the colors. I'm gonna put it on. Oh my goodness! I know a lot of girls have to wait years um, to be offered a bag. I don't have the patience. And also, I don't want to be spending so much money to um, wait for her and um, to be offered in this color, this combo. Sometimes it's not easy to find the right combo, the right color. And they may have certain colors available and you would have to go with it. But this is a 25 Etain color, gold hardware. And it's got four little legs there. Protective sticker, still intact. Just a beautiful color. I was so worried for it being too small because as you can tell, I'm not a tiny, tiny girl. I'm not petite, I'm not tiny, so I was concerned. But when I was wearing it at the store, uh, it was fine. It was totally gorgeous. This is the Bergen 25 Etain in the 
rose gold hardware. Now I'm going to show you, I'm gonna pull this in a bit. I'm gonna show you the 30 that I have and the 35 for, for size comparison. So you know what it looks like. Oh, isn't she pretty? My goodness, I'm gonna push this over there. I hope that doesn't there we go. Okay, I've got the 25 and let me grab my 30. This is my size to 30 and my 35, which is so. All right, are you guys able to see the difference in size? I hope you can. This is the black Togo in the gold hardware. This was my first Birkin I've ever got um, early, I think 2011, and brand new from New York or Mass. And um, I loved her. Like I've, I've carried her so much. I have traveled with her. She has been to Italy with me, Europe with me. She's been to Asia with me. Um, and you know, when you travel, you bang it a bit. Um, quite a bit actually, but if you look at it, it's been with me for 10 years now and uh, it still looks bloody amazing. The shape's intact. Of course, I, I put, you know, um, stuffing in here so I keep the shape intact. The leather is immaculate, really immaculate. Um, the corners are great considering I carry her a lot traveling in the planes and all that, you know, where I have to shove it in there to the, the upper cupboards because um, they don't let you hold your purse at the aircraft um, back in the days when I was traveling. So this is the black Togo in the gold hardware. Uh, so you know, in Hermes, all the gold hardware are plated. So this is gold plated. And um, I have tried to sell her a couple of times, but the sales didn't go through and I'm actually quite glad that it didn't go through because it is quite hard to find a Birkin 35 in the black and a gold hardware in this kind of condition. And if I do find one, it's gonna be so much more what I got it for. Now, this baby, I got it um, uh, this year, is a, a size 30, a Birkin 30 in the Palladium hardware. Okay, so it's not gold, it's not rose gold, it's the palladium hardware. So this is the size that I wear to work quite a bit. And um, what I find with the Epson leather, this is the Epson leather compared to the Togo leather. The Epson leather is a little bit lighter, definitely much lighter than the Togo leather, right? But at the, at, on another note, it is, it gives more structure too as well. It has uh, more structure when it's the Epson leather. And same thing, it's got the legs there. And when I saw her at the store, again, pre-love store, guys. I know I pay premium for these bags, but do I wanna go into Hermes and buy scarves and shoes and bags that I don't need and stuff that I really don't care for just to climb up the list, maybe possibly get offered a bag? I don't know. So yes, I did pay a little bit more than retail for her, but she's again in immaculate condition, right? And in the palladium hardware. So this is the Rouge Absent and the palladium hardware. Now, my latest baby is the 25 in the rose gold hardware. So I am very happy. I have three different combos of hardware, the gold, palladium, and the rose gold. And um, I didn't see her in person and I had to pay for her and the bag was shipped because the bar is like pay in full and I'll ship the bag and you can have it. No refunds, no nothing. And I was okay with it. I thought, you know, this is a very, very difficult color, a very diff hard to come by, um, you know, hardware. So I said yes to her um, and this purse came from Saudi. They all have history, guys. These all have New York. I don't know where the owner come from for this one. She's out of the country as well, so she's not in Dubai. And this one is Saudi. So great stories behind the purses. I love the three sizes that I have. I am done with Birkins because I say I'm done with Birkins and then next time you're gonna see me do another video, it's like another Birkin. <laughs> but this size is amazing. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, I can even wear it out with a red, 
Hmm, a red dress, red suit, even a, you know, a black outfit, anything. It is a nice gray and the gray is not so cold. It's very warm. It's just pretty. This is a great bag for my office. This one's for travel. The size 35 is not something that you um, wear every day because it is fairly big. But if you have a computer, a laptop that you bring to work, um, I have a laptop in a 13 and you'll fit perfectly here with my stuff. You can carry it to work. Um, but on a shopping day, a weekend day, I don't see myself carrying such a big bag. But I like to keep her because she's she's been with me for a little bit and my first Birkin too as well. So it's got lots of memories. Um, this is the youngest one to be added to the collection and I don't think she's gonna go anywhere. You know, I don't think so. Unless somebody offers me crazy to get her, but no, I don't think so. It's, it's crazy. It, it's, it's very difficult to get her. So she's going to stay with me for a while. I'm going to really enjoy her. And, um, I feel really lucky to get her. It's, uh, like I said, some people might be wondering, why do you feel so lucky in getting a bag when you can get something on a regular basis, even when you have the money, it becomes really special. It becomes really special. And even if you have the money, you have the product available, there's a long lineup for it. So I would have to say that I am really happy to own her and to add her into my special collection. So there you go, Hermes. You won my heart again. For many, many years, I thought to myself, oh my goodness, you are just getting so difficult to acquire. But if you have a little bit of patience, if you go through the different sites, if you are on top of your game in terms of searching and researching uh, for the best color combo, what size, and uh, when you do acquire one, it's worth it. It's worth the wait. So I'm excited. So I hope you like this video as much as I do because it is different. It's not um, a Chanel unboxing, but a, a mess unboxing, but it is, a Birkin unboxing, not just a regular one. So I will do a review in a few months to tell you how much I love my Birkin 25. Um, but I can see where me wearing her on the weekends when I don't have, you know, agendas and this and that, just, uh, my phone and my wallet and out I go. So great colors again. So, um, anywho, don't forget to subscribe and like, and put a comment. Tell me what size is your favorite. Is it the 35, the 30, or the 25? Tell me what color do you like. Tell me what's your next, your wish list in your brick and color combo, leather. Tell me all about it. I love to communicate and share my thoughts with you, but I want to hear from you what you think of the Birkin 35, 30, and 25, which is the baby. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.